Hey, your friends are here. Hurry down. What's up? So you're finally up, huh? Don't slack off just because you're on summer vacation. My dude, I've been on summer vacation for like a month at this point. A little late. Yo, you look tired. We've made ourselves at home. Late last night, it was discovered that someone has tampered with the hacker group Medjid's website. They had a website? The site's main page now displays what is thought to be the mark belonging to the Phantom Thieves. Thought to be the mark because it's the same mark used in the last three heists. More so, the personal information of a Japanese man, a possible Medjid member, was illegally publicized. Aren't these the guys people have been up in arms about? Medjid has yet to issue an official reply. I mean, their website got hacked. How would they make a reply right now? Like, Twitter, I guess? Furthermore, their previously announced cleanse of Japan has remained unimplemented for now. Some speculate that they have taken this series of events seriously and ultimately canceled their plan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Woo. What are you all smirking about? Something great happened. Well, stop it. You're going to drive away all my customers. Both of them? After the commercial break, we will be asking guests from various fields about this turn of events. But there ain't any customers. Hush, Ryuji. Can it? My customers are on summer vacation, too. Oh, crap. I just realized our break's almost over. Yeah, aren't we going on a field trip soon or something? Do we get time back at school before we go on our trip? I, I forget how the timeline works out for this. There are still 10 days left. I want to go somewhere, but we can't just leave Futaba-chan alone. Some things still concern me, too. Like that research. Oh, did you just get up? Good morning. <gasps> it seems she's cautious of us. Hey, uh, why don't we go upstairs? If any customers come, she'll be even more afraid. Why don't you go with them, Futaba? Have fun. It's about time my regulars show up anyway. So I don't want you guys loitering around my store. The fact that there were no damages due to the hacker's actions is but an afterthought. The issue I want to make clear is the attitude of the police, and more importantly, the government. <sighs> what do you mean? Are they doing their best to find an effective countermeasure against these phantom thieves? Is it not the government's duty to create a society where its citizens can live without worry? Unfortunately, the current cabinet is powerless. As such, they should be disbanded. I believe now is the time for me to risk my political career in hope of making a new reality. A new political system that goes beyond parties or factions. An ideal country of peace and order. This politician seems quite promising. I have to agree. I hope he can work to ease the anxieties of the elderly. What do you think, boss? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Uh, I wasn't listening. Sae, assumedly you want to talk to us about the next arc? Or do you think the old people were in on it? So the Phantom Thieves only stole the heart of Futaba Sakura, and Mejid was in turn defeated by her real-world hacking abilities? Yup. This does correlate to the facts as we know them. If he's telling the truth, then Wakaba Ishiki didn't commit suicide. Did a third party target her life with the goal of destroying her research? Hmm. Not so much destroying her research as destroying anyone knowing about her research. Wakaba's death was two years ago. That also coincides with when the incident started occurring. Does this other metaverse user that Madarame and Kaneshiro mentioned really exist? Earlier, I briefly mentioned about those psychotic breakdown incidents that have alarmed the public. All of a sudden, people will lose consciousness or become violent. 
A situation as incomprehensible as that can't be explained away as troubled social conditions. I suspect that these cases are all connected to a larger, man-made plot. The method involved always muddled the explication, but your story has virtually confirmed its viability. Although I wouldn't have expected a new criminal to come to light from your testimony. What did your group think of this other Metaverse user? I mean, like, knowing at least in general where this is going, this is kind of the actual answer. I want to see what she says to this, though. What do you say to that other Metaverse user being unimportant? Are you saying it didn't matter to you that complete strangers were being victimized? No, I'm saying that that other Metaverse user doesn't matter to the overall crimes going on. <laughs> well, no matter how you thought of them, there can be no doubting your resolve. Are those incidents because of you or someone else? Either way, I will get to the bottom of this. I feel like my bond with Saya is growing deeper. What rank even are you? Six? Three. Well, I wasn't lying about not knowing what rank. <laughs> All right. Now, let's move on to your next crime. Kunikazu Okumura. Oh yeah, you have a first name. You should know who he is, considering what happened. Your testimony regarding this incident will be serious. I'm sure you understand why. Answer my next question carefully. What did you do to this Okumura? Summary to the story, blah, blah, blah. To think the cognitive version of a person would transform into such a horrible monster and attack us. That means our enemies aren't limited to shadows. Effectively, they will be, though. I thought the other people were just victims, like the slaves at the castle or the walking ATMs. Like, they don't need to be restricted to that, they just normally are. Even though they seem to be alive, they're only part of the backdrop. The environment. Aside from the times when they haven't been, like in Kamashita's palace. In other words, the palace ruler determines the form and strength of their cognitions. I would have loved to ask Futaba's mother how far along she was with her research. Research, huh? She was looking into that cognitive science stuff, yeah? If we put together all the information we've gathered up to this point, abuse of cognitive science can lead to death, and it may even relate to the psychotic breakdown incidents. Considering the cognitive aspect, I sense a strong connection between it and the metaverse. On top of that, the research might have been stolen and used by someone else. Everyone in screen just looks to the hard camera at Sae. <laughs> You mean those guys that showed Futaba-chan the fake suicide note? If that is the case, those people are unforgivable. Hey, Futaba, is there anything else you can remember? <sighs> she is quite difficult. That smell. Come on! Hey, can I snag a bite? Meanie. Why don't we take a short break? I've been thinking, even if Futaba is a genius, could she really crush an international hacker organization that easily? Evidently. The one who taunted the Phantom Thieves was a guy in Japan. I knew the Medjed members in Japan weren't anything special, so I wasn't worried. How do you know that? Because I'm the founder. Um, what do you mean? Should we take that literally? Yep, it was only me at first, back when I was referred to as the hacker of justice. But since I stayed anonymous, a bunch of guys from all over the world started using the name. And those were the ones committing cyber crimes. It was a hassle to expose all of them, so I just left them be. Oh, uh, so Futaba was the true Medjed, and we were freaking out over some weak-ass dipshits? Pretty much. <sighs> you should have told us from the start, Futaba. 
I discarded the Medjed name a while ago. I'm Alibaba now. Still useful context, though. Utaba, what do you want to do now? Since you know our secret, we'd like you to join our team. Okay. Just like that? This may even ensure our investigation of mementos goes along smoothly. Well, I guess. Well, Futaba's real amazing. She's gonna be a big help for us, huh? Say, Futaba, how did you find out about us? Secret. Where did you learn to hack? Private. When did you obtain the nav? I refuse to answer. Aside from that last one, which we can at least kind of guess at, because I think we got a cutscene about that, I don't think we actually ever get an answer on those. Maybe hidden away in some journal log or in a different Persona 5 game or something. But I don't know the answers at the very least. Futaba-chan sure is unique. Still, it'll be a problem if she doesn't open up to us some more. At the very least, we need to be able to communicate normally with her. What should we do? She's okay as is. Like, she's she's responding to our questions. Uh, she's not that talkative, but seems fine. She's just neurodivergent. That is how I'm reading this. Uh, that ain't gonna fly. First, we'll need to help her open up to us. If we each spend an entire day with her... Maybe she'll get more used to being around us. Because evidently she is a cat. I see. We do have the time thanks to summer vacation. We can begin tomorrow. Let's go to the beach. There'll be tons of people there. Plus, we got totally dried out in that desert. Yes, we got dried out surrounded by all that sand. Let's go to the place with more sand. That's a great idea. I forgot I hadn't gone to the beach yet. Uh, excuse me. I'll come by tomorrow. See you then. Let me help as well. I don't have anything planned. I feel like that either goes perfectly or horribly. And I forget how a lot of these trips actually go. Uh, I think that in general it's fine, but Yusuke being in charge of socializing Fataba sounds like a risky one. Thanks. We can set a schedule with everyone else, depending on when they're free. Okay! Can I really do this? Good luck! Was that always in the corner there, Why the tarp and stuff? Like, we never have that view of this room. Yeah, we never see the uh, shelving and stuff back there. We always just see the stairs. Neat. Stress is the enemy of beauty, you know. Shut up, pleasant boy. How can I stay calm about this? I understand how you feel. Sai so just looks at us. How did you know I was having this conversation? Thanks to the incident with those hackers, people are calling us incompetent. And on top of all that, the Phantom Thieves are claiming justice is on their side. Don't make me laugh. Measured was dealt with by either the Phantom Thieves themselves, or some avid supporter. There are no tracks whatsoever, so they must be quite skilled. Either way, the general public recognizes the Phantom Thieves as the subjugating party. They're gaining support and influence much faster than we could have anticipated. It is indeed an abnormal situation. I'm beginning to suspect mass manipulation of some kind. It's even possible that a powerful person is behind them, plotting the psychotic breakdowns. If only I had realized sooner. It's rare to hear you speak in that tone. For the sake of my justice, I won't forgive them. Hey! Heard some people talking about us on the train home. Said that they were saying how awesome they think the Phantom Thieves are. I've heard things too. It's being it's becoming a huge topic of conversation. To be fair, the casualties from a measured attack would have been massive. What? 
No. Like, the Mejet attack itself was going to crash the Japanese economy. Wouldn't have been pretty, and there probably would have been casualties due to indirect stuff. But the casualties from the attack would have theoretically been zero. It's no surprise they, re they revere us for preventing it. Good to hear. Yeah, it's, it's really all thanks to Alibaba. You were a great help. It was nothing. Oh, that reminds me. Remember that stuff about ATMs and banks just stopping? That wasn't Mejed, was it? Nope, that was totally separate. So people were overreacting to mere coincidence? Either that or those rumors were never true to begin with. Hmm, seem to be quite talkative in these conversations. That's so? I'll shut up then. Hmm? Eh. I don't think I get it, but I'm pretty sure she's angry. You gotta apologize, Yusuke. M me? Why? Hey, is this really going to be okay? I'm worried about how things will be from now on. <sighs> Training for Taba is gonna be a lot of work, more than stealing someone's heart. Now that's my Phantom Thieves. I knew they'd pull it off. This definitely proves the justice of the Phantom Thieves. You sure? There's no doubt about it. I mean, they took Mejia down. Even the guys who had been criticizing the Phantom Thieves basically have to basically have to accept them now. The news has been spreading like wildfire too. Oh, given an extra boost on, on my site as well. I bet the I bet the approval rating will be through the roof tomorrow. Look forward to it. Why is he of all people getting excited about this? Well, the news really did draw a lot of attention. I can't wait to see what happens. Nice. Mm. Looks, it looks like all this hacker business has calmed down for now. Am I actually allowed out? And I suppose I didn't go to Mementos today. Oh, hell yeah. And Sojuro is unlocked because we're past Futaba's palace. Nice. Sojuro, Sojuro will rank up. Ifmi will not rank up. Oya will. Okay, up to here to get a point for Hifumi. Then probably Sojiro. It's way too hot. I'm going to shrivel up. I think Sojiro gives kindness, so I should also do a boost on that. What shall we do? Infinity. Hifumi. Okay, now let's check really quickly. Do I have Hierophant, Hierophant, whatever? Yes, I do. Also, let's check the rank on him, actually. Currently rank four. Rank six gets Coffee Mastery, so uh, the coffee that we get from making coffee just works a lot better, I think. Yeah, four is actually fairly behind at this point, so sure. Ain't that right, EY? <laughs> they, at least, I can rank up, like, eight times in a single day eventually. Kind of. Uh, let's go ahead and get that kindness um, boost first, actually. What shall we do? Luck. Fortune. Now. Kindness. Cool. What do you think? And actually, since we got a point for you, you will now rank up. Okay, cool. Back to LeBlanc. Mm -hmm. First of all, nothing there. Oh. Nothing there. I could do laundry or something, but eh. Yeah, I suppose I should. There's that. Get the drinks. Mm. Everything's sold out. Okay. 
uh, men's equipment, cats, women's. Do a second Yoshiro. Elders. And one of those. Run as is. Paul Kawakami. Hi. Well, cool. There. There. And I could get uh, items from the uh, secondhand shop or whatever. Eh. Persona. Hierophant. Good. If you have time, can you help me prepare dinner? Help him out. All right, then. Thanks. Dob is coming to eat today, too. I'll get the curry ready. I'm leaving the coffee to you. Phew, I'm wicked full. How's the curry, Futaba? Delicious. I'm going to be dreaming of that stuff tonight. Um, did it taste the same as you remember it? Yep, I feel like a dummy for not wanting to eat it back when I was depressed about my mom. Oh, that's right. All right, the first episode of this brand new anime I want to watch is airing tonight. I'm out of here. Eyes in front of you when you walk, okay? No spacing out. You ran head first into the pole last time you went for a walk. When was that, like five months ago? Well, you stubbed your toe on the dresser the other day. My ah, crap's gonna start. Make it like a leaf and yeah, screw it, by. <laughs> she thought it was delicious. And, and what about you? I think I'm addicted. Really? I guess you have pretty good taste if you can understand how incredible that curry is. Now then, there's something I should probably tell you. Here, take a seat. I'll pour you some coffee. Yeah. Remember how I said the recipe for this curry was developed by a scientific genius? You might have realized by now, but that genius was Futaba's mother, Wakaba. In other words, that curry is one of the last remaining connections Futaba has to her mom. I first met Wakaba back when I was doing work for the government. She was real trouble, let me tell ya. Logic prevailed over emotion for her, and she, had an and she had an intricate knowledge of the human mind. I thought my pickup lines were the best in town, but not a single one worked on her. <laughs> Was she like Futaba? You could say that. I was, it was never clear what she was thinking, so I had a hard time trying to keep up with her. Men are idiots, though. We spend our time chasing after things we can't get. Wakaba rejected me time and time again, but there was one instance I managed to surprise her. And that was when I gave her a plate of my homemade curry. The very next day, she came asking all about the ingredients and what goes into the cooking process. And then just a few days later, she handed me a scientifically enhanced version of my recipe. It was incredible. She'd used my curry as the basis, but it was miles better than, I, than anything I had made. Curry was Wakaba's specialty from then on. Naturally, Futaba grew to love it in no time as well. But then, after Wakaba's accident, Futaba stopped eating it entirely. The flavor would make her remember the pain. I've heard even smells can bring back memories too. But that curry was the only point of connection I had with Futaba. That's why when I took her in, I vowed to keep this recipe alive until she could eat it again. Tempted to do that, but I'm worried that that's... Like, I'm worried that he'd take it sarcastically or something. I think that this is just earnest praise of what he's done kind of thing. Where he paid off in the end. Yeah, felt like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders when she said it was delicious. The whole idea of pairing the curry with a nice brew was thanks to Wakaba's refinement, too. Despite how introverted she seems, she seemed, she was she was extraordinarily perceptive of the people around her. I never even told her about my love of coffee. She figured it out just from looking at me. That was when I realized she was totally out of my league. Not like I really stood a chance to begin with, though. She already had Futaba by then, after all. This might seem like any old curry to most people, but there's tons of emotion crammed inside. So, um, 
Make sure you keep the tradition going. Copy, Dad. I feel like my bond with the Shoju I feel like my bond with Sojiro is growing deeper. Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of this for tonight. Things are getting downright sappy in here. Dub is waiting for me at home, so I should probably be heading back. The rest is on you. Make sure you clean up before you go to bed. Kindness! Yes, I did guess right! I thought I remembered Sojiro's thing reinforcing Fataba's. Rank 4! Hell yeah! That means we can start Fataba's confidant line, confidant line as well. All right. Selfless. Hey, it's me. You finished cleaning up? Fataba's still watching anime. As long as she's in a good mood, though, I don't mind it. Seeing her, seeing her so happy now makes me glad I kept Wakaba's curry alive. It's only a problem when she asks for it three times a day. Sounds good to me. <laughs> don't start, don't you start about that. You, you gotta think about balance, nutrition, all that stuff. Uh, normally he goes for the uh, just more, more curry kind of thing. Uh, I, yeah, I can see the points there being it needs to be more balanced because it is about his adoptive daughter. I gotta be strict with her. She needs to, she she needs to eat balanced meals so she gets from her vitamin so she gets vitamins the curry can't give her. Or you could put vitamins in the curry, Sojiro. That's an option. I probably would throw off the flavor, actually. Eh, whatever. But man, the expression off Tava's face when she took a bite of that curry. Eh, forget it. Now maybe I'll have to stick with curry as the staple. But I can sneak some veggies here and there. <laughs> I guess cooking really can be a labor of love. Ah, crap, I talk too much. Uh, see you later, I guess. Hi. And old ghastly dress, shikigami dress, mythical scarf, and fairy... Chongsam. Uh, it, it is also known as the Chinese dress, but I feel as though that's not a particularly correct term for it, so whatever. Yes, Igor? Master would like a word with you. Stand up straight and listen closely, inmate. It seems you freed the heart of a frenzied girl and saved her from her haunted past. <laughs> Another step has been taken to rehabilitation. You are progressing quite nicely. Our master bestows words of praise upon you. You'd better feel honored. By the by, more curious information has found its way to your ears. A scientist's research. It seems that world may secretly be known after all. Furthermore, that very research has been stolen and is now used by those with malicious intent. I wonder how this will change the approach you take toward your rehabilitation. Who stole the research? <laughs> Allow me to grant you a new power, worthy of your current self. How about you answer the motherfucking question? Though you have my aid, be sure not to let your guard down. Otherwise, you may get swept off your feet. I feel like my bond with Igor is growing deeper, apparently. Rank seven. All right. We shall meet again in the near future. Time to go, inmate. <laughs> <laughs>